Hello, I'm Peter Byers and I thank you for joining me for this presentation. The title of the presentation is Business is a Living Organism. It might be more appropriate if the title had been Business Should Be a Living Organism. It might also have been more appropriate to say a complex living organism, uh, but there you are. So I can sort of hear you asking, what is a uh, living organism? Well, take me, I'm very complex, um, and uh, I'm a living organism. You might say only sometimes, because you're very lethargic some of the time, but there you go. Um, if somebody shines a blooming light in my eyes, I close my eyes. And if somebody makes a blooming great loud noise at the side of me, I cover my ears. And uh, if I itch, then I scratch it. And if somebody punches me, I react to it going to guess how I react to it, I guess it depends, but I'd react to it, being no doubt about that. So um, there you are, um, I also react to things that happen inside the organism. For example, if I had a, 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 a burst or ruptured appendix or whatever you, happens to appendixes, uh, then uh, the organism would react to it. And the other thing is if you put garbage in here, you get garbage out at the other end. Well, all of these things, can there can be a parallel to the living organism that is a business. Now, medical people, if they know how the organism works, can do examinations, they can measure the blood pressure, they can measure the pulse, they can use a stethoscope to listen to how it's all working inside. They can take samples of blood and see what the quality of the stuff whizzing around inside the organism is. Well, they can even use something called an MRI scanner to see pictures of uh, what's happening inside the organism uh, and they can tell in lots of cases just by looking at the organism what's, what's wrong with it. I mean if you've gone all yellow they can say reasonably quickly and without too much risk of contradiction you've got jaundice missed it. So the parallels should be there for an organism that is a business but it's important that the people doing the diagnosis of a living organism know exactly how that organism works. And I have to tell you, from real life experience, there are one huge number of very, very senior people in very large companies that haven't the remotest idea how the business works, how that living organism works and fits together and what happens when you do this or that or the other. So in the presentation that I'll give after this introduction, I'm going to show you uh, a little bit about the organs that would go to make up a business organism. Now, all businesses have the potential to be a living organism. Uh, restaurants, cafes, hotels, um, taxi businesses, uh, pharmaceutical manufacturing companies, engineering companies, stationary stockists. The thing about it is they would have a different set of organisms in 
sorry, a different set of organs in the organism. And uh, what I shall do in the the presentation shortly is to show you loads of possible organs and how they might and should fit together. Now, it, a, a business does not have to be not 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 have to be computerized to be a recognizable living organism. The beauty about having it computerized is you would expect to be able to get instant results. Not long ago, I was listening to a very proud uh, chief executive say, "Do you know we can get?" Within 10 days of the end of the month, we can get a full balance sheet, the income and expenditure, the management accounts, and all of the other variances, and all Lord knows what. And I thought, you dozy pillock. If you're supposed to be running the business, you should be able to ask for that instantly. I want a balance sheet, as at this moment, now. Um, uh, and... But most businesses say, well, we can't get that yet. Well, you could, you should, and you must. If you get something go seriously wrong on day two of a month, then you're going to wait till ten days after the end of that month before you can see what the consequences are. You've got to be joking, that's crackpot. So, it, it instant um, test results, in other words, if I were a chief executive, the first thing I'd do every evening or every morning is to say, right, what did we dispatch? What's the value of dispatches? How much money came in? How many invoices did we send out? What's outstanding? How many? What's the value of goods that were delivered to us? What did we pay out? What are our staff going to be costing us for today? And just a little bit of arithmetic to say, if you're paying more out than you're getting coming in, you're on a momentary slippery slope. So you ought to be able to get that information. If you have a, a, a reject or a potential recall on the second day of the month, you're not seriously telling me you're going to wait till the end of the month before you can see the consequences of that. That's crackpot. So that's why I say every business is or should be like a complex living organism. Just before we go on to the presentation proper, there's something I should just mention to you. And that is that every organism has its limits. For example, if I tried to lift a wanton load or weight, I wouldn't be able to do it. If uh, I tried to take hold of the rear bumper of a motor car and lift that up in the air, I probably wouldn't be able to do that. But if there was somebody laying trapped under the wheel, uh, I don't know whether what it's if it's adrenaline or what, but I could. I, in that circumstance, I'd lift the car only for a few seconds to let the person get out from under. And uh, businesses are the same. There is limits to their capabilities and resources. But in emergency, for short periods of time, they can exceed the normal limits of their uh, capabilities. Right. And now we'll go on and look at the um, uh, presentation proper. Thank you.